Welcome back everybody. Just wanted to uh, do a quick video on the table I'm making. My niece Clara asked me to make her a table for a doll. It was an American Girl doll. So I'm like, huh, that might be a good plan for my site. So, did up a design for a table. Uh, essentially it's going to be made out of this half inch thick board, which is actually 7 sixteenths. Almost no board is actually a half inch when you buy it. And then the legs are made out of this one inch dowel, which actually is one inch. Um, just um, the tabletop is going to be basically eight and a half inches square. These are the legs I'm making. So I'm going to show how to make the leg. Actually, this is the current design. Uh, basically, I'm drilling three holes and then chiseling it out. I move the drill spots further this way and this way, that will be covered up by the piece that goes in in the end. And then the leg itself is compound scrolled. So, I'm going to go ahead and do that. This is the pattern. I'm going to apply it to the wood, cut it out. Quick note about attaching patterns with the scroll saw. Typically, I'll put on uh, some painter's tape first, then I'll use a glue stick, and then I just glue the pattern right on the wood. I sometimes get questions about that when people buy my plants and don't uh, don't realize that the patterns are to be attached to the wood for cutting out. Alright, before we cut anything out, we're going to drill out these holes. I kind of set it so it would go, oh, I got it halfway, but that's fine. Yeah. I have a 7 16 bit to match the width of the hole I'm, I want in the end. I'm going to drill the middle one out first and then the two side ones. with. I would just need to take a chisel and straighten out the sides. Alright, see if I can just show this. It's really quite simple. Just line it up. Put it on. Not the easiest thing to show on camera, but I'll clean it up a little better than that. It's kind of hard to film it <coughs> at the same time as I'm trying to chisel it out. But once you have it like that, let's see. I'm just kind of. Alright, we're going to cut out the leg. Quick note usually I use a number, a lot of people ask me what size blades I use. Typically I use a number five blade for just about everything. But when I'm doing something like this, which is long straight cuts that doesn't have much detail, a lot of times I'll go with these uh, precision ground tooth blades. Uh, these have been, I don't know, well I guess they are a number 5 blade, but they're much bigger than a normal number 5. But they are better at uh, cutting straight lines. So, just thought I'd mention that. One side cut off. We're going to save this because we got to tape it back on for support. The second side. Take this and tape it here, and then tape it here, and cut out this side. All right? Tape it together. Actually, just wrapped it around so it's on the bottom too. It's a little, little extra tape there. But uh, then we just finish cutting it out.
Well, now that I have a good start on the legs, I'm going to actually make one of the pieces that's going to go across. Uh, basically, on most tables you'll have a, what I'll call a skirt, where it's just a board that goes across between each piece. Obviously it gives it structural support, all that. So, for that, I've attached my pattern to the wood here. Basically, I'm just going to cut them out, keeping the grain going the long way, and uh, see how it fits together. Alright, so we cut one of the sides out. Fits together. Well, that's a little tight. Alright, so I pushed it together. It's not as flush as I want right here. So a little adjustment to that. Let's put the other side in here. Okay, that one goes right in. That one's a little looser. So I just need to work out the tightness on this other side here. Okay, came out real good. That's basically going to be where the legs of the table go. Here we have the table of what it's going to look like. It's just set together right now. Nothing's glued, nothing's clamped or anything. Uh, brief note on the top, it was made from that same board, but I did have to edge glue a little extra on. I actually made a 9 inch board and then cut a half inch off of, you know, to get the size I was looking for. So, in the end, I'm just going to, once the frame is glued, I'm just going to make some marks on that and then just glue it right on there and clamp it. For this, we got one of these four corner, or one of these band clamps. I'm just going to clamp it right in there. So I'll clamp that together. And I actually have a little thing where I'll clamp these down to keep them all flat and flush. But So that's the next step, is just glue the frame together. For that, I'm just going to glue a little bit of glue inside the joint because I don't want it squirting out all over the place. And that should hold together nicely. I have the base glued all together. I've kind of lined it up here. I just kind of eyed it up and then made sure with the ruler that all the corners were equally set in. That might vary a little bit depending on the size of your top. And I made some marks so I can remember where to put this back down. I'm simply going to just put a bead of glue around the top and uh, clamp it down to the board. Well, here's the finished table. Simple, sturdy, an excellent doll table. My niece should be happy. Thanks for watching.